everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, today we are going to give a makeover to this big styling hat of this Disney character that is called in some countries Moana, in some countries she is Vayana. Yes, I know she has two different names for different regions, but this is still the same character and I really love this girl, so today we are going to give her a makeover. If you remember a couple of weeks ago I repainted the Princess Jasmine hat from the same collection and Jasmine turned out really super cute, she's still sitting here on my background. It, here she is because I really loved the end result. She looks super realistic, super cute and today we're going to do something the same, something similar to this Moana hat. So guys, let's keep this intro very short, let's start working and of course please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes, yeah, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and right now let's start working. I'm really kinda into this big doll heads makeovers lately. Well, this is how she looks from close and also without the box, I don't know, super cute face, I absolutely love her. Let's see if I can make her super realistic. And we're going to start like always with removing her face with pure acetone. Then I'm applying two layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, it will make the surface very matte and kind of paper-like and then I will be able to use pencils and pastels on it. I started with sketching her eyes and eyebrows and after this I begin working on her skin tone making it more alive and more realistic. We are going for a very natural look today, it should be face without makeup, so I will use just natural warm brown colors and kind of reddish blushes this time and this is it.
okay now I think I'm done with her face and the next step I want to work on her hair and you know I actually really like these curls that she already has this is exactly how Moana hair would look in my opinion in my imagination I just want to make these waves more kind of defined more structured and also more wet and shiny looking and I'm going to use this product for it it's like a hair wax that makes hair very shiny and also adds kind of texture and volume to hair check it out this is where I've ended up I don't know she looks super cute to me I absolutely love this girl very cute and natural hair with very natural waves really nice so now I want to attach some very delicate false lashes add gloss to her eyes and lips and then we will move on to her outfit and accessories So check it out, I've got this piece of fabric with some sort of tribalish print on it and I think it will work really nice for the Moana top if I use just this part here. It's red orange on the top and then it has some embellishments under it. I think it will look really good here so let's do it. check it out guys I don't know I think it looks really good the outfit part is finished and now I want to make a necklace with a special pendant with a blue stone and you know really honestly I've been looking for some sort of an oval or maybe round object that would help me to cast this blue stone already for two or three days here in the house and I don't know I could find nothing better than this empty blister from some sort of pills really don't laugh guys it's gonna work I promise you now we'll just smooth out this socket and it will be okay because look Moana stone looked also quite raw so it's okay if there are some bumps or imperfections on its surface I don't know I think it will be okay okay 
So this is where I've ended up with this and now I will take blue pigment powders, a bottle of acrylic resin and I will make this blue stone. Getting it out of this blister wasn't that easy, but it worked out and it looks really, really, really cool, guys. We can apply an extra layer of blue pigments with resin to smooth out the front to make it even prettier. But honestly, it's not really necessary. It looks already super good. And then to the back I will attach this pin. So this is the crystal, it looks really good to me, but we're not done yet and now I'm going to cover the top of it with Warbler Thermoplastic and then I will paint it with acrylics.
And here is the finished pendant. I don't know, it looks really cute, especially for being made literally from scratch. So now let's make the rest of the necklace decorated with beads. And after it's done, we will finally take a look at the end result pictures. So, and here is my finished realistic version of Moana. And I don't know why, but I really enjoy so much working on this Disney princess doll hats. It kind of feels like I'm bringing to life a real Disney princess, like turning them from cartoon characters into real people. And today's Moana also looks just like a real girl. She looks super playful, very adventurous, but she's also very sweet and gentle at the same time. I don't know, I really love of this girl and her summer vibes. Really enjoyed this project from the beginning till the very end. And you know, the same like with my big styling hats. I don't really know, guys, if there is a market for this type of dolls, but there is becoming already too many of them in my house. So I will put this doll and also the Jasmine, the one from my studio, for sale on eBay for three days. So if you are interested, please check the link in the description box under this video. So that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, probably in a week, but maybe in two weeks. You know, I'm working on a Mirabelle doll right now and there are lots of different details. So it might be in two weeks, but I will let you know next week Friday. Don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified about that new upload. And yeah, that's it. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.